you want to make this with this. Hello everyone. So it's going to be out of things. So it's going to be out of things. ठीक है, आगे नोटिफिकेशन है तो। हम्म। ठीक है। मैं अभी यहाँ से ज्वाइन कर लेता हूँ ताकि दिखता रहेगा कि मेरे को क्या क्या चल रहा है। हम्म। ठीक है। 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 and by that time we are just doing some initial setup and then we'll start. So just wait for at least five minutes and we'll start in there. So if there are more people joining in, that is really great. So guys, uh, for the people who have already joined, so let me give you a brief introduction on what we are going to do today. So right now, uh, actually, uh, today I am not at my uh, workstation. Rather, I am actually, uh, I, I, some of you know, already know that I was visiting my hometown. And uh, luckily, uh, there is a customer, there is an old customer of mine who already, who, who live in the same area. And we happen to, you know, just talk to each other and then they just randomly we just decided that why not have a session at her workstation so she is shruti hi she is a, a valuable part of our group Thank you so and much. Uh, <laughs> today we are going to use uh, her supplies and her workstation <laughs> to create something now when i say to create something uh, by that actually i mean is that today we don't have anything planned <laughs> Uh, initially, we were, I wanted to teach into uh, how to, you know different ways to uh, color your candle, but uh, I thought why not make this session experimental, right? Uh, the thing is, today I wanted you to you know uh, take you all through the uh, let's say uh, sort of a journey where which I go go through on usual basis whenever I'm designing a new product and a way. Uh, best way to use uh, to uh, design a new product is to do experiment and may doesn't matter what is, what is going to be the outcome but at the end and uh, you're going to learn something there will be some at least one or two technique that you will learn a new technique that you're going to learn that you will be able to implement in your further future products and if in case that product actually works you have a new product in your hand so that is what we are going to do today I have few ideas, few rough ideas that I uh, thought of last night and we are going to make those candles for the first time. Uh, so it may work, it may not, but at least I hope that I will be able to uh, open up your mind or at least broaden, broaden up your horizon uh, so that when you go and try to make some of your product, you also start thinking on that level that you don't need to just... Uh, make that you have learned in the video rather Experience. you take yeah exactly you take that information further you blend you mix whatever you have learned from me or from the youtube video from any anyone in the group and you mix them together and create something new so today one more thing i am not going to make candle rather so this is more like an she is going to make me. candle so i'm nervous also because then i have got yatan here and um, he's like oh i would say Guru is very formal, but yeah, he has guided me a lot, so I will be nervous, so let's see what we end up doing, but yeah, we will try something nice today. So before we start, uh, please confirm that, uh, is, the is the voice audible to you all? Just type in the chat, if you have any trouble you know, in our vo hearing our voices, or do you want to speak, do you want us to speak louder, or maybe, uh, maybe you want to decrease the speed of our, of our speech? So just please confirm in the chat. Type type yes if our voice is audible to you. Please type yes. Anyone please? There are about 16 people who have joined. So just type yes if our voice is audible to you. <coughs>
guys if you have been part of my sessions you know that i want you all to be interactive if you are not going to be interactive i won't i will not be you know proceeding further <laughs> okay we are going to wait so we'll be waiting for a few more people to join us <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. And then do we need anything else over here? Okay, there are people who are typing. Okay, so, so okay, so our voice is audible. That is great. That is great. So there is one person who is angry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ramesh sir is angry that we are conducting this live session. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, we won't be, I won't be putting any legs. <laughs> so anyway, so let us start. <clears throat> so right now, what we are going to do is uh, just give me a second. Let me, uh, see. Hello, Hanji. हमें अभी चंडी का आया हाँ जी हाँ जी मैं बस मैं क्या कहते हैं दोपहर तक आऊँगा वापस आ जाऊँगा मैं हूँ अभी दोपहर को आऊँगा ना वहाँ पे अच्छा ट्यूसडे तक ट्यूसडे तक घूमें यहाँ पे ठीक हाँ जी हाँ जी ठीक है जी आ सॉरी गाइस Okay, so we are not going to waste any more time. We are going to start. So we have around 16 people who have joined this session. And to the people who, uh, if in case anyone who is not able to join the session, since we are live on Facebook, so this will be, you know, this session will be available to watch later as well. So you don't need uh, a separate recording for this as well. So right now, what we are going to do, we are going to do some experiments with soy wax, the soy chunks that we usually use, and gel wax. So we are going to do some random experiment with soy wax and gel wax. And to the people who have joined just now, let me explain what we are going to do today. We are going to, this is an experimental session where I have some rough ideas, but I have not made those yet. So we are going to just, you know, uh, go through a process where we uh, try to create something new so that when you go back to your workstation, you have some new ideas to play around with. Or at least you know that how how to go further with the with the knowledge that you already have, right? And we have one of our group members, Shruti here. She will be making the candles today, mm -hmm. and I will be just recording. So uh, right now, first thing that we are going to do is we are going to melt some soy wax, right? And we are going to make some we uh, make uh, hard tablets, right? With the, using this mold. And also, we are going to add one layer, a small layer of soy wax in this jar because we are going to make two candles today. So, so we have to use uh, the wax properly, right? Mm. So first, we are going to melt some wax, and minutes? so I would say uh, since we are going to need at least four to five, mm. so at least uh, melt at least five hundred gram of wax first. This is almost a. Uh... 20, I think 20 grams. 20 grams. So I guess we melt two, uh, three, four hundred wax. If you have anything extra, we'll just pour it into the, the second jar. So by the time she's uh, measuring uh, the wax, let me show you one more thing. There's one more, there is one more experiment that we are uh, trying today. So most of you, uh, a lot of people ask that if I have some wig sticker, like uh, stickers to, uh, you know, place the wigs. So, uh, you know, whenever I uh, observe a wig sticker, one thing that I feel that it is nothing but a double sided tape in a circular form. So that is what we are doing, going to experiment today. I have some double sided tape that which I'm using to hold this wig. As you can see, so we are going to do some this experiment as well that we are going to test whether the, it is strong enough to help, help hold the wig when we are going to pour some hot wax into it, right? 
So I've just stick some double sticker here, double tape here, and I stick the wick using a scissor, right? And one more thing, this is one of the product which Shruti have designed. This is a wick holder which we are going to use, right? So you can reach out to her later on. This is a, I would say this is a good quality product. I'm seeing it for the first time right now. And I would say it's a good quality. It keeps the wick in center and it stops from wick to, you know, uh, move from its place. So I would say this is a good product, really good product. So, okay, Ragni said that our voice is breaking. So, uh, is uh, is there any problem with our in the in the in our voices? Are you able to hear us properly, or is there are you still facing some network issue, or from our side or maybe from your side? Please please come uh, comment in the chat. Are you able to hear our voices clearly? Because that is very very important. Okay, so. We are melting some wax here because we want the session to be quick. We are just using the induction and we are simply melting the wax in the picture. And also a lot of you guys ask that, uh, you know, they are looking for a pouring picture and a lot of time the image that is being shown is, you know, from the US Amazon group. But instead of that, you can use a regular jug, water jug, one liter water jug, which is made up of uh, stainless steel and trust me it works very good it, i mean it works very well and that's the another advantage that you can actually use it on the induction and simply melt the wax into it and it also since it's being uh, it's made of uh, made up of a stainless steel material it also keeps the wax hotter much for much longer period right so we are melting some wax here And also one more, one more thing guys, uh, whenever you are melting the wax on induction, right, always make sure that you measure and keep a track of what is the temperature. So it's 170, which is, I would say correct. Just make sure if the uh, temperature, uh, you know, uh, rises higher than 180 or 190 in case of soy, stop the, uh, stop the induction, let it cool down for a minute or so and then start again so that you are able to maintain a average temperature of 170 to 180 degree 180 fahrenheit so it's 146 185 again fine yeah you can 185 you can close it and you can just uh, stir it so that it melts in the wax hmm. melted wax right so by the time she's melting it okay there are no such any queries all right so what we are going to do is let me just open uh, or try open the gel wax with one hand and also sorry guys we are you know record uh, uh, conducting this session by holding the phone, holding the phone in hand. Uh, actually, since this was not a pre-planned session, so I didn't brought bought my uh, you know <laughs> my tripod stand or my mic so that to be able to make the session more. Uh, I would say. I think you know what we can hmm? keep the phone here also. Or camera. I just I just hmm. I just want to record and show each process. So that that is why I just hmm. I'm ho holding the phone in the hand. So we are going to uh, make some amazing, uh, I mean, doing do some amazing experiment using this gel wax as well. And also, for if anyone wants the gel wax, you can get it from our store as well. You can just log into our store, and you can we we'll, we are also selling gel wax now. It's almost done. It's done. Almost, almost. Great, great, great. So now wax is melted. So now what we are going to do is we are going to add some color because we want the candle to be colorful right so we are just going to melt we are just uh, going to let it melt properly and then we are going to use some coconut oil because a lot of people also have trouble you know uh, color 
mixing the powder color as well so uh, just like paraffin uh, i have recommended to use melted cherry in case of soy and beeswax we are going to use some coconut oil to mix the color this helps the powder color to mix well and and since you are you know uh, adding that solution to uh, the wax uh, the color which you get in the wax is also very vibrant and you don't get those you know uh, unmixed particle color particles in the wax how much oil do i take just take some uh, slight amount just enough to mix the color hope it comes out 1 by 4 teaspoon yeah, something uh, but uh, yes. yeah no. out here just uh, okay. lesser than this so this much amount of coconut oil is just enough about half a teaspoon or 1 by 4 teaspoon based on the depending on the amount of wax that you want to color we are doing half so i'll take pink yeah Yes. Add some more. Yeah, mix it. Right. So as you can see, the color is properly mixed. So now we are just going to mix the color. Add this. coconut oil to the wax or maybe just wait a second wait a second don't boil it into this because we want to melt the gel wax as well yes. so let us first let me check the temperature so that it does not end up melting the cup so it is so it is slightly on higher side so let us wait for a second so what we can do is hmm. right Yeah, this also is we have. Sure. Okay, so we can use that jug for uh, our gel melting gel wax. So what we can do, we can just add mix the color into this jug as well now. So now, let me just pour the wax. Oh, sorry, pour the color into the wax, and simply mix. So guys, one more thing. So whenever uh, there's one tip that you always keep in mind, that whenever you're you know adding color to beeswax or soy wax, always remember that the color that you're getting in the melted wax is going to be uh, the color and the color that you're going to be uh, you're going to get in the wax when it is completely cured is going to be at least two tone lighter. Because what happens is since the wax is is of white color. it actually uh, see, right now it's bright but it actually makes the color into more pa pastely shade right so so always remember that whatever color that you want to achieve in your soy wax candle always uh, make sure that uh, when you adding the color it is at least one or two tone darker so that you get a uh, required color that you want in your uh, uh, out the cured candle cured candle because this has you know this actually ruins a lot of batches because we want something to be on darker side but when the candle is actually cured we get much lighter color than what what we are we were getting in the melted wax so always make always always make sure that the color is at least two tone darker right okay okay this seems fine let let us check the temperature so it is around 168 fahrenheit so usually this temperature is i would say uh, fine to add fragrance as well but right now since we are doing some experiments i uh, should we use fragrance okay so why don't we add 10% of the fragrance so by wait so let me show you the temperature again so it's slightly on a lower side 158 so by the time she is measuring the fragrance let me just heat the uh, wax slightly because the thing is since it is winter the wax temperature drops quite uh, fast so before uh, adding the fragrance we are going to use heat gun and we are going to you know uh, increase the temperature slightly so that we uh, 
the fragrance gets mixed properly right so we have uh, measured 10 percent 10 percent of the uh, oil hmm. so first we are going to we need to heat the wax so you, induction use the heat gun it will look much faster then i have to put it there again okay yeah so this is how I heat it. I don't know if this is the right way. This is the right no? way, but from although the you sides? can, huh, from the huh. side, or although if you want to, uh, you know, speed up the process, you can you uh, heat up from the top slightly, okay, and then from the side. I, मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि you know maybe mm -hmm. there are times कि वो एकदम उड़ के आ जाती है back okay. so okay. I just go with the whatever yeah. you're comfortable with. Hmm. Okay, this is 174, which is a, I would say in for, for winters, 170 Fahrenheit to is appropriate temperature. During summer, go for 165 Fahrenheit for the soy wax. During winter, 170 is an appropriate temperature because by the time uh, we are going to mix the color, mix the fragrance, the temperature is going to drop at least four to five uh, Fahrenheit. Yeah, then this is one question I wanted to ask you. Uh -huh. Like, abhi, when we add the fragrance, na, mm -hmm. so usually what happens, wo cloud hona shuru ho jata hai, right, hai na? right. And uh, there are times when I was initially doing it, so mm -hmm. I realized that my candle pour karti thi wax sari, mm -hmm. to last mein, wo oily substance reh jata tha. Right. And that is surely the fragrance oil. Right. So then, what do we do? Kya hum isko fir se hot water bath de sakte? Maybe okay. like, you know, we have a so, garapali ka container. The that is the reason uh, why I always, you know, talk about temperature to add fragrance. Because the temperature which I have uh, shared right now is 170 Fahrenheit hmm. to add the fragrance. Hmm. As you can see, there are no such clumps. Hmm. Right? Hmm. Because what happens is, as, as I, let me just show it to you. See. It just we haven't even crossed two minutes, and right now the temperature has dropped for from 174 to 158 Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. So that is how fast the temperature actually drops, right? So that is the reason during winter I prefer a slightly higher temperature because the thing is when we are adding the fragrance which was at a room temperature and during winter the room temperature is quite low, mm -hmm. right? And by the time you actually uh, mm -hmm. wait a second. So okay, before we uh, before I continue talking let us take some uh, we have some paper or cotton yeah so what we are going to do we are going to uh, i'm going to dab some coconut oil yeah. on this uh, sheet oh sorry on the tissue and i'm just going to slightly apply on the mold and why is it then so the reason we are doing it because so that the wax does not stick to the oh. uh, mold yeah okay. so that it is easily it get easily uh, so I think white patches yeah. I'll do it. Right. Okay. So you can do either use a mold release spray that you can buy it from Amazon or you can use a coconut use you can use coconut oil both in silicone as well as well as your aluminium molds. Right? Just apply some slight amount and now what we are going to do, we are going to pour the wax into the mold. So yeah, so I was saying that temperature needs to be high enough. So that, but because when we add the coconut or the add the fragrance oil, and specifically when we are making some large batch, and for example in a one liter or one liter or one kg of or melted wax, when you are going to add by ten percent at least hundred gram of oil, which is quite a huge amount, the temperature is going to drop at least by four to five Fahrenheit. So that is why when we pour, when we add the fragrance at lower temperature, uh, the moment the fragrance oil touches the wax, it starts to create lumps. So in that case, the only option that you have left is to is to heat the wax again, and in that case, what happens? Some of the fragrance gets lost in the process. So always make sure that temperature at which you are adding the fragrance fragrance is high enough to to at least uh, you know mix the fragrance oil properly. As you can see, we just poured the wax, and it has, it has already started getting cloudy. So one more thing I wanted to talk about. You can just keep it uh, aside, or are we? We are yeah. Let it let keep it aside. We or okay. Do one thing. Hmm. Since we are already have this melted wax, hmm. uh, heat it slightly, okay. and we are going to uh, use the remaining wax as a first layer of the second candle, okay. right? So guys, by the time she is heating the wax again, I want to talk about another, uh, you know, uh, thing regarding the wax. So if you if you're observing it properly. See how the wax actually hardens. So always 
always remember when the wax is hardening it always hards from outside to inside as you can see here the wax is already cloudy on the outside and it's, it's it is starting to getting hard to the inside and the reason i want you to remember this because there is a technique there is a candle making technique that i am going to teach in our future lesson where we are going to use this uh, characteristic of the wax right always remember the wax cools down from the outside to inside and we are going to use this characteristic of the wax in our future one of our, uh, in one of our future classes all right so this is something uh, uh, you know just a teaser that i want to talk about she is melting the wax so now what i am going to do is the whatever remaining wax we have i am going to create a first layer of wax in this jar right people for the people who have joined later we are going to make two candles and both of the candles are experimental temperature is 156 which is appropriate for the pouring so just create a so let me be careful and not to in her yeah thank you so i'm just creating the first layer side no okay anyway the temperature was slightly on a low side that's why okay. but we can fix it later on so now what we are going to do we are going to just let it set and i am going to use heat gun to uh, you know fix it properly okay. and let me just pour the remaining wax here because we are not going to need it now so now one more thing uh, these are called wet spot because by the time the candle is going to cure these are going to be remain these spots will be remain on will remain on sides mm. and these comes in you know uh, various designs the wet spot mm. comes in, actually have uh, gets created in various design the reason this happens is because when the wax cools down it shrinks and what happens is the wax which is uh, some of the wax keeps on sticking to the jar but remaining part of the wax actually shrinks and detach from the surface mm. right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use heat gun to slightly melt it from the side so so this keep it at a distance right and start rotating the jar slightly so this is another technique which i use i bring the um, uh, uh, the heat gun closer to the jar and and when the wax starts to melt i push it apart and there's another thing which i'm going to use uh, can you please pa pass me the uh, the wooden stick the bamboo stick so right now as you know a lot of uh, a lot of people faces another issue in the soy wax and beeswax candle and that is that uh, we get in the during the winters we get air pockets just below the surface right so when your candle uh, is in you know uh, partially hardened or out the cloudy state when the top of the layer is just hard enough to hold the wick poke some hole around the wick because that is where most of your holes of air pockets are going to form right now the, since we have already filled it uh, to a very low level air pockets are not going to be there mm. but, but i just want to you know when since i'm ta you know talking about uh, the soy wax i just wanted to you know show how you can prevent these air pockets when you are making the candles so when when you just make sure uh, after that just use the hair heat gun on the slightly and melt the top and fill those fill uh, those holes right mm. and now i'm just going to use the heat gun slightly and i 
I would say I would say this is much is enough. Let us let us move further because main thing that we want to teach is the other techniques. We can perfect those candles later on. And yeah, one more thing. Whenever you use heat gun on a jar, always remember that jar is going to be very very hot. I am used to uh, you know holding hot things, but make sure that you are aware. Mm. Right. Okay. So now we are going to keep it aside. We don't need this. And now what we are going to do, we are going to melt some gel wax, right? But before that, I want this to be properly clean. So this is another thing which I you do. Uh, whenever this is uh, this is how I clean my jar. I use a heat gun at a higher setting, and I just melt it from the side. And whenever you do, you're you know cleaning the jar like this, always remember that uh, since right now uh, there was no fragrance, uh, this this is a, a different jar, and there was no fragrance which we put into this jar, so that so now it is okay. But sometimes what happens is when you are you know cleaning the jar which in which you have added the fragrance as well, uh, the fragrance is quite strong, and when you uh, sometimes smoke start to appear mm. because we are you are heating at a high temperature. So always make sure that the jug. Or the jar is from a or at a distance hmm. so that it does not you know, irritate your nose. Or nose. So now I'm just going to pour it into a, a different jar, or maybe just yeah, just let me pour it here because we are not going to need it. And now I'm going to use paper towel. And this becomes really very hot. The jug yeah. after the, right. you know. As I said, I am used to <laughs> holding hot things, mm. and trust me when I say I am used to. I have burned my hand a lot of time. Mm. I have cut my hand a lot of time using scissors, so I am used to you know getting my hands injured. So mm. you all, you make sure that you are at least careful enough. I literally have a hall of fame on my hand mm -hmm. that <laughs> burn mark, cut marks, and a lot of mm. things, and all due to the candles. So yeah, so jar is properly clean hmm. because we are going to add some gel wax now, right? So now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take out the gel wax. Yeah, okay. I, would, I think this will be much better. Mm -hmm. Also, not a knife. Not, it's okay now. Let me just measure how much wax we have here. So we have around 330 gram, and uh, you know, let us let melt. Let's melt the complete chunk here. Because we are making two candles and bo and soy wax uh, and this is the what this is what we are going to use or uh, I would say this is the major part of both the candles. So for this also, uh, the weight calculation is the same as in soy wax also. As in so um, regarding as the... in I I use a candle calculator. Mm -hmm. So when I put the weight over there, so mm -hmm. automatically wax ka weight or volume para right. kota na okay right. pani ka. Right. So is this the same for soy wax and gel yeah. wax same na? Almost yeah, almost okay. same. So. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So this jar that we are using is 150 grams. <laughs> so this uses this. One thirty six grams of wax and thirteen right. grams of oil. <laughs> we use ten percent fragrance right. oil. So are we using fragrance oil in this? Yes, we are going to use fragrance oil as well. Okay. So one thing, guys. Um, <laughs> Okay, just start to heat. Can we decrease the temperature slightly on this? This is it. This is a light mm -hmm. lighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Coffee, I mean, the residue heat of the Either we do a double 
boiler. Yeah, I guess gel for gel back double boiler is better okay. because okay. it's going to yeah. When gel wax melt, there is a different smell of it. Exactly. So guys, do you know how gel wax is made? Or for which material the gel wax is made from? Anyone? Type in comment if anyone of you know about how gel wax is made. Guys, I'm seeing there are, you're not commenting. And I want this session to be interactive. There are at least 24 people in the uh, in this live session. So I want you all to type in the comment box and answer me that uh, what do you think a gel wax is made, is made from? We have enough time. You know that uh, when I start a session, I wait for at least three, uh, the session goes till three or four hours as well. So I have ample amount of time. <laughs> so I'm, I can wait for you to answer. Okay, so let me see if I am having. Okay, so Ragni has answered uh, petroleum jelly, which is correct. It is actually made from uh, pet it is, gel wax is also a petroleum based wax. So I just want you all to know that pet gel wax is not a natural wax. It's also for if any of one of you does not know, it it is also made from petroleum based uh, raw materials. So, uh, okay, we missed the comment that uh, Rushab, uh, Rushab asked in the comment box that what was the FO load. So, the FO load that we are uh, using uh, right now is 10% by weight. Okay, so guys, I'm really sorry that now the, suddenly when I refreshed, the comments have started coming. We initially, they were not, we were not, I was not able to view them. So, there was a, another question which Manika asked Can we use coconut oil to mix color? and make candle out of paraffin wax in silicone, silicone mold as we can't use steric in silicone mold so uh, Monica the right the thing is you are correct that the uh, steric in silicone mold is not a right combination but the coconut oil does not mix uh, you know uh, helps in paraffin candle uh, for that uh, I am going to launch another solution uh, this is a solution which I was working on and I will be launching it by next week I'll and which will be which you can use in any sort of candle to mix the color so Ganesh uh, there's another question by Ganesh he asked uh, what kind of color uh, mix is this so we are just using some powder pigments and we just mix those pigment in the coconut oil and just mix it in the wax uh, there's another question which which is asked by Kinjal and she asked when are we supposed to add fragrance so as I shared, uh, the fragrance, the first soy wax, uh, ideal temperature to add fragrance uh, in during winter is around 170 Fahrenheit. 170 Fahrenheit during winter for soy and for beeswax. During summer, you can bring down that temperature to around 165 Fahrenheit. All right. So I hope that I was able to answer most of the question which was comment posted in the comment comment box. So now also we are using double boiler method now for gel for melting gel wax because uh, that was my mistake that uh, we for uh, gel wax need a lower temperature to melt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess you're right. Right. Hmm. So that this is what happens when you when you start something pre uh, unplanned, and this is how experimental experiments goes on. You just wing everything that you are you are you know provided with. So there is another there is question asked by Lazarus. Uh, I hope that I am pronouncing your name correctly. Uh, you are asking that can you add color to beeswax? Uh, yes, we can color beeswax. We can color yellow yellow beeswax as well, and we we can color white beeswax as well. So Ranjana asked, which candle is best to make pillar candle? So I hope I assume that you're asking which wax is best for making pillar candle. So you can make pillar candle. I would say out of any sort of wax, just make sure the wax solution wax is hard enough. 
for example uh, i would say the best would be paraffin wax but if you want to use soy wax then yes you can use soy wax as well you can use soy flakes and you can blend it with uh, either paraffin or either beeswax and get you can create an amazing amazing pillar candle uh tejas asked that will this session be available on fb group to watch later yes this will be available so uh, ragini ji aap uh, you have i guess i have missed your question uh, please post your question again okay ankita goel asks is color safe for candles in sense of non toxic smoke ah uh, see the thing is the amount of color that we are adding is so, so so small i don't think it makes a difference but when we talk about toxicity right to be honest in a generic term the uh, uh, almost all the material that we are using i would say they are uh, they are not uh, when you use it for a, you know reg- on regular basis anything is harmful you know so just don't i, would, I don't think there is anything to think about that so yeah ragni ji asks is petroleum jelly safe for uh, our health so petroleum so when we say this is also made from i would say technically uh, both paraffin wax and gel wax are the same thing so it is as safe as gel uh, i would say a paraffin candle so we have another member here <laughs> she my daughter so we just cut the gel wax into smaller pieces oh, and now we are melting here so actually thing is uh, <laughs> at home i use my own melter which on uh, where i have a control over the temperature mm-hmm. but in the induction this is there is a limit to uh, you know the to limit to the lowest temperature that we can go that is why we are going to use the double mo- double boiler method here so that we don't end up uh, you know heating it and making it smooth and uh, out of control this will happen this will work then this should work we can wait by the time i can answer the question so as you can see this is also almost set so ragni ji asked but paraffin is very toxic um see i would say uh, paraffin when you use uh, you know fully refined paraffin i don't it's not that toxic yet there is a, when we talk about toxicity level i would say the uh, you know this uh, has uh, i would say this fear or this uh, you know th- uh, uh, what to say uh, notion about paraffin being toxic is actually uh, have actually arise from uh, the research papers uh, which were conducted by a uh, soy wax manufacturer that uh, paraffin is toxic and uh, all the all palm is very toxic all these all these research were actually funded by in uh, us soy manufacturer soy uh, when we soy um, uh, farmers associations but when i did some research but none of those paper had any conclusive answer they were just research papers which were never published and yes when we talk about toxic level right see uh, right now the uh, even when you use uh, soy wax candle right and you use essential oil or you use fragrant soil they out say they all are harmful to our health to some extent when we use them on regular basis you know when you if someone is using a candle or burning two uh, one or uh, you know one or two candle on daily basis no matter how natural the product is it is going to be harmful and also one more thing that i want to talk about uh, say that say here is no matter how toxic you feel a candle is it is still much less toxic than the agarbatti and the dhoop that you use on regular basis uh, if you want any proof just uh, whenever you are you know burning a dhoop or agarbatti always Uh, just make uh, see on the top of the wall and all the black soot that is going to be stick on the wall of in your temple or at your home that is going to that is the same soot which is going to form in your lungs so you can assume the how toxic the those dhoop and agarbatti are and the candles no matter which uh, wax you use is much 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 less less toxic than that 
सो वैशाली आर आर द पिंक हार्ट वैक्स मेल्स यस दीज आर वैक्स दीज कैन बी यूज एज वैक्स मेल्स बट राइट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दैम इन आर कैंडल वी आर गोइंग टू फिल दिस जार विद दीज हार्ट्स एंड देन वी आर पोर वी आर गोइंग टू पोर सम वैक्स ऑन टू इट Why is not melting properly? I don't know. It's going to take some time, actually, because we are using double boiler, na. Hmm. That is why it's going to take some time. Should I increase the temperature? Yeah, it should. So, the water is for the pani or wax? Water was water, na. Water okay. was water. Okay. Okay. It is begin to melt, I believe. Right. So guys, by the time the wax is melting, hmm. by the time the wax is melting, we are we are using double boiler method, and it's going to take some time. So let us. Let, uh, why don't you ask some more question, and I will answer those as well. So what we can use? Okay. So Neeti asks, what can we use to make the candle shine? All right. So I guess when you when we talk about when we are talking about, uh, let me just. All right. So when we. Uh, i would say when we uh, i guess you are asking about the pillar candles that how to make the pillar candle shine here so uh, the thing there is a golden rule for pillar candles hotter the wax the shinier the candle is going to come so for when you are making paraffin candle paraffin pillar candle uh, if your temperature is about 180 to 190 fahrenheit the candle is going to come out much shinier than what you are going to get at 170 fahrenheit 160 fahrenheit right so hotter the can hotter the wax shinier the candle is going to come out so i hope that you guys are enjoying this session You guys, actually, this is the first time I'm actually having this session on uh, Facebook Live, and uh, and I hope that I'm using a second phone to read all your comments because some for some reason I'm not getting these comments on my uh, on my uh, primary phone. So, guys, okay, but, uh, another thing, let me just uh, you know give you a brief. Uh, idea on what we are going to try today let me just so we are actually making two candles and both are going to have different designs right so in one candle what i what i'm planning is that uh, we are going to have a one layer of soy wax and above this i will be adding a layer of gel wax and on the top of that i'm going to add another layer which is going to be a blend of soy wax and gel wax because when you mix soy with uh, sorry uh, par uh, gel wax with uh, either soy or either with paraffin uh, the texture which you are going to get is going to be opaque uh, uh, instead of uh, uh, the transparent which you get in the gel but when you uh, the feel is going to be much like jelly it will be a much like jelly consistency and here what i'm going to do this is a, this is going to be another experiment and i don't know how it's going to work out i'm going to put these hearts and fill this jar and over that instead of uh, pouring soy wax i'm going to pour uh, gel wax and we are going to observe how this actually uh, behaves this is an experiment this is also an experiment and we are just you know today we are just uh, checking or maybe testing how different wax acts together and for the people who have joined later today we uh, this is just an an experimental session where we are just doing some experiments with the waxes or the products which we have available uh, the reason i wanted to do this is because i wanted to uh, for to all the new candle ma makers i wanted to take you uh, through the process on how uh, i design new products so that uh, when you start making candles you don't have to rely on the video that you have seen but rather you can use your own imagination to create something new Yeah, we tried this also the tape thing, no? Mm-hmm. 
and also another experiment that we are doing today is instead of glue gun i am using a uh, double sided tape because uh, i just wanted to see how this actually works in a candle that is it able to hold the wick properly when we when we pour hot wax into the jar because the glue dot experiment uh, i would say that failed terribly even though <laughs> the it it was able to hold the wick properly but as soon as i was pouring the hot wax into the jar almost all of the time the wick uh, you know just separates from the jar and i would say that actually ruins your complete batch and you don't want that that is why i'm using that and also we are going we are using a wick holder which is created by shruti here this is an amazing holder as you can see this is a holder for 3 inch jar and see how amazingly it is working so as you can see the wax has start to melt we are just going to stir it so that it melts a little bit faster should i need a spoon or something yeah i would say that will be better it's a pretty light and it can see with this yeah sure mm -hmm. okay i sometime i am <laughs> i don't have much patience sometimes so right now i'm just going to use on the top here you don't need to do this if you have a proper melter uh, this will melt uh, quite fast and i would say an appropriate temperature to melt this gel wax will be around um, 110 fahrenheit so i'm just going to just Please pick it up from the next place. It has a little brown brown like that when you pick it directly, you know. So I guess uh, initially when it was it started smoking because there was some wax at the bottom, mm -hmm. and sometimes when that happens, it's the wax starts get to heat directly. Instead, so I was I think that was the which which uh, which was producing the smoke instead of the gel wax. Mm -hmm. so now, I'm really sorry guys that you have to wait so much, but I hope that uh, you're still getting some knowledge which is worth your time. ओके Rupali asks, "How do we make sure that we are using a correct wick uh, for tea light or for stick candle? I guess for stick candle you mean by taper candles. I hope. But when we talk about correct wick, uh, best way is to test, right? Because the thing is, uh, there is no hard and fast uh, formula or calculation available. Uh, yes, we have uh, uh, wicks in seven different thicknesses." but the problem is even though we have a certain idea on which wick works for which size of the jar but there are a lot of factors which actually impact your wick sizes for example the temperature of the wax the type of the wax whether the wax is paraffin or soy or gel or gel or maybe your beeswax and 
the oil that you have added whether you have added coconut oil into it uh, that also changes your uh, wick size whether you have added steric into it that changes your wick size the color can also change uh, impact your wick size if you are adding a lot uh, you know uh, 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 i would say large amount of color that that can also change your wick size uh, if you are adding uh, the temperature the temperature when i mean by temperature is like winter can during winter the wick size can be different during summer the wick size can be different and it has actually happened with me uh, there is a recent batch uh, of beeswax candle that i actually had to create and uh, initially I, the composition was 70 30% and but during winters i had to t make uh, you know, change the composition to 50 50% like 50% beeswax and 50% coconut oil so this is how drastically uh, temperature can impact your candles so always always make sure that whenever you're making a new batch of candles always make sure that you are test at least once no matter if your fragrance is new if your uh, wax is new if there's a the temp there's a temp there's a drop in temperature or whatever may be the case always make sure before making a batch test your wick and this is the best way to to actually uh uh understand to actually uh, make sure that you are using a right way testing uh, okay we okay ragni ji said we also get some white powder for making getting the shiny candle uh when you are talking about white candle i guess either you are talking about the white color white pigment which we can add in the white candle to make the white uh, you know white candles more uh oh, shinier or maybe have a more uh, you know whitish appearance classic white uh, appearance or either i guess you're or if you're talking about mica yes you can add white mica as well that also you know give provides a shimmer effect to it there is a color pigment available which white. says whitener yeah and candle whitener candle whitener yeah. and mica to chalo theek hai right. it gives a shine also to the right candle. right right candle whitener yes it exactly so candle whitener is nothing but a white pigment it was it's just nothing it's simply white candle white candle pigment mm -hmm. and uh, if you want to talk about what it's made up of it is a uh, uh, titanium dioxide yeah. the white candle pigment is made up of ti uh, titanium dioxide mm -hmm. right so see this is another knowledge bomb that you didn't know acha tell me something like hmm. we are trying a blend abhi hai na right. you tried para soy also and right. you tried bees and soy also hmm. so what factors uh, you know are to be kept in mind ki ye ab soy wax hame pata hai ki uska suit nahi hona chahiye hmm. cracks nahi hona chahiye jaise hi for para soy what is the see? criteria for a good candle see when we talk about criteria for a good candle hmm. right no i see uh, initially see when i when i started making candles i used to be you know uh, stringent about uh, which what which wax i'm going to use and when i say stringent i do not mean i do not mean to comment on you all guys i am com commenting on my own self like uh, right i just wanted to make candle with bees wax that is all i was not even i didn't even wanted to work with soy wax but you know when i started working with candles i started working with more of, more of the waxes one thing which i have realized is uh, and this is much before you know moving into the raw material state raw material business uh one thing i've realized when we talk about a good candle no matter which wax you're using the character the i would say factors that you need to take care of are same that it should smell really well there should not should not be any smoke uh, there should not be cracks and also there should not be any uh, air pockets below the surface because that can also impact also uh, one other another extra thing that you need to make sure that the flash point of the oil that you are using in your candle is high enough like most of you uh, most of us use essential oil i use essential oil in my candle and some of the essential oil have a very low flash point mm. specifically the citrus oil they have very low flash point and that can actually catch fire right and i have face in my candle like i was doing some testing i was burning my candle doing some wick testing of my candles mm -hmm. and the wax actually ended up catching fire mm -hmm. and it the fire was so uh, i would say uh, intense that the jar actually melted by the time i actually realized that the candle my candle is melting so always make sure of these points yeah. and also a lot of people ask which is the best wax uh when we talk about best wax uh, if you don't care about it being natural or uh, unnatural 
then the few factors that you should be taking care of are one it should have good hot throw it should have good cold throw these are the two most important factors the uh, the surface addition should be good uh, good enough to be so that the jar the wax does not come out of the uh, the jar which unfortunately is a problem in soy as well as beeswax natural beeswax also have this problem but yeah this is something i would say uh, when we talk about best wax this should be the uh, uh kya kehte hain this should be one of the factor that you should be taking care of the wax should be easy to work with when i say easy to work with it the uh, it should not heat uh, it should not you know the temperature should not drop uh, i would say it should not cool down very fast so these are the few of the factors that you should be taking care of also uh, another thing i would another additional factor if you want to take care of is i would say um yeah uh, yeah it also does not uh, take too much time to cool down because there are some time uh, waxes takes a lot of time to cool down and uh, this is i mean you would want a, your candle manufacturer to be uh, process to be very fast you don't want to wait for at least the can at least first batch to cure for at least couple of hours so these are the few factors that you should be taking care of mm-hmm. no matter which wax you are working with so as you can see it is all completely melted so can you please measure the temperature so guys congratulations finally our wax has melted so yeah 213 fahrenheit yeah. so guys one thing to remember now coming back to the topic of gel wax one thing to remember while working with gel wax a lot of people faces issue uh, with wax having a lot of bubbles mm. the reason for that is that gel wax needs to be poured at a high temperature ideally 190 to 200 fahrenheit is i would say an ideal temperature mm-hmm. to pour the gel wax 180 i would say minimum 180 fahrenheit you can go but below that you will start seeing uh, bubbles we are we are going to observe some bubbles in this case as well but i am but these are not going to be uh, too much put these na first so first we are going to do uh, we are i'm going to uh, correct let me this is my mistake i should have taken care of this first so now what i'm going to do i'm going to just put some decoration in the first layer these are some cinnamon sticks which i'm going to use so i'm what i'm going to do i'm just you know okay slightly on harder side so let me just so i'm just going to coat it slightly so okay there's one thing i want to show so whenever you're putting uh, add, adding anything to the candle right whether it may be flowers or something anything make sure they are far apart from the wick so that it does not catch fire on right and i also going to use some lavender buds here can you please open please add some buds here so this is just an experiment we don't know how it is going to look at the end so we are just you know playing with whatever uh, you know stuff that we have here this one catch fire yeah this won't catch fire but at the same time we don't want the uh, these buds to clog the wick as well so that is why that is what we have to make sure here make it make sure that these are that there is enough space between the wick and your whatever that you are adding into the candle right so now what i'm going to do okay please let me just uh, heat it up slightly because it's went up so that is what we have to make sure that and decorate quite well So, uh, can we uh, keep the camera here? Okay. Yeah. One more thing. Uh, uh, hmm. uh, when you, whenever you are heating the jar hmm. of wax from the top, you no, know, make sure that the uh, heat gun is not too close. It is at the distance so that uh, uh, while you are heating the jar wax, you don't end up, uh, you know, inducing any sort of air bubbles into it. So okay. make sure there is enough distance. yeah i assume the temperature should be very good enough now 
so temperature is 209 fahrenheit hmm. so we are going to pour a second layer slowly. this is an experiment as of now we do not know luckily it doesn't seem to be melting the lower layer so that was my yeah that was the basic basic, basic concern so, okay. we had so as you can see there there are few bubbles so now another thing that you can use do is tap tap and this will you know uh, oh, remove good. a lot of bubbles we cannot heat it like we do with the soy thing no acha niche wala soy melt ho jayega if we right. heat the glass right, right? Oh. so another thing that you can do all the bubbles that are on the top what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a spoon and i'm going to take it out spoon there so the wooden spoon yeah so the all the bubbles which are on the top i'm going to just scoop it all out right so you can you by similarly you can you scoop all the bubbles as you can see all the bubbles which are on the side we can just scoop it with a spoon and since and the bubbles which are at the bottom you can just tap and a lot of those bubbles will remove hmm. on itself right as you can, but compared to a lot of candles which uh, are posted in the group and a lot of people who are having trouble as you can see there are the so less bubbles in here nice and transparent right so now what we are going to do is uh we let me and hold the phone yeah. right So now the wax melts are hard enough. We are just going to pop it, take it out. Yep, these are hard enough. And because of the oil, there mm. is a little shine also on the melts because of the coconut oil we had, no, dabbed. Yes. So we have these beautiful melts here. So what we are going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my second jar and I'm going to just simply add it here. Mm. Again, this is just an experiment. Is instead of this, you can also make chunks, uh, those uh, wax brittles, uh, and. Uh, you can you know just like we make chunks candle you can make those chunks and fill the jar to the uh, to the edge and gel wax use gel wax like we are we are going to use right now so i'm just going to create some different now making sure that the these hearts are on the edge of the jar so that it is visible you, yeah the heart mm. shape is visible mm. right this better enough yeah so now what i'm going to do Is the gel wax? Yeah. Again, I'm going to heat it up slightly. And now I'm going to slowly pour in into the candle. let me make sure see there now as you can see there are literally no bubbles, no bubbles here mm. literally no bubbles here what is the temperature of the gel wax as of now again it was around 200 fahrenheit now right now it's dropped to 159 by the time i was to pour it so 159 again as a good temperature to pour no i would say low temperature actually induces a lot of bubbles but No, actually, I heated up and okay. I poured it. Hmm. So by that, uh, we by the time we actually take the temperature again, hmm. so the temperature actually dropped. So now we are going to let this layer, hmm. uh, uh, you set. Same, we are going to let this uh, layer set as well. Hmm. Now for the th uh, third layer, uh, third layer in this, we are going to add another layer in this candle, hmm. and we are going to add another hmm. layer. Sorry. in this candle as well so but before that we need to let it set and by the time let us answer some more question
But before that, I am having a call. <laughs> Please give me a minute. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, ma'am, uh, can I call you after some time? There is a live session which is going on. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. So yeah, let us. By the time we are going to wait for these layers to set, let us answer some more question. But I hope <laughs> your this is uh, not a waste of your time. This I hope this session is not a waste of your time, and you are learning something new here. All right. So Trupti ji asks, in my candle, I am getting co good cold throw, but when I burning the candle, I'm not getting it. Why it happens? So uh, first thing I would like to uh, ask is, what is the curing time? Are you curing your candle for at least three to four days? If yes, then how much uh, in what amount of time are you expecting the candle to fill the room because sometimes what happens is we uh, uh, most of us burn about 100 gram candle and we expect the room to be full in just 10 minutes it doesn't happen for a uh, you know room to be of this size let me show you right this is a small i would say small size room right for a room of this size uh, it will take around half an hour for a hundred, a hundred gram candle to fill the room, this space completely, right? At least half an hour. So if you are waiting for half an hour and still you're not getting a good hot throw, then I am assuming, uh, you, you need to change your fragrance. I mean, they could be the fragrance is not strong enough for the candle. So Manika ji asked how to get good hot throw. Does it depend on the fragrance oil or temperature? So Manika ji, it, I would say both. Uh, it depends on the oil as well. Oil should be of a good oil. Should be they sh it should be, uh, you know, specifically made for candles because there are few oils which does not work with the the candles for specific. Because a lot of us use so uh, soap, uh, say soap making oils. Yeah. Sometimes they work, sometimes they do not. But yeah, if you can always use uh, oils which are specifically made for candle making or you can use essential oil those also works very well second thing the temperature yes the temperature also works uh, as we said uh, as you can see the temperature that we have used today to mix the fragrance in soy wax is around 175 fahrenheit the reason 170 fahrenheit sorry the reason we use that is because uh, during winter i would say this temperature is not too hot and not too cold and uh, when i say not too hot when you're going to add fragrance at a high temperature, uh, there is a chance by the time the wax is going to set, the fragrance, uh, uh, around 10 to 20 percent of the fragrance is going to evaporate, right? So that is why uh, we know we should not be adding fragrance at a higher temperature. And when I say not too cold, when uh, for, let us assume that you're adding the fragrance at around 155 Fahrenheit, the by the the moment that you have the that the fragrance oil is going to touch the wax it's going to create lumps and when that happens the fragrance is not going to bind well i mean it's not going to mix properly and you're going to end up a, either a candle which does not smell well or it you may have you may face an issue where a, a, a top layer of the candle is going to smell very well but uh, when you're going to reach to the middle you're not going to face any fragrance you're not going to absorb any fragrance out of it so yeah, temperature as well as the fragrance quality both actually matters when you're making a candle. So uh, another question we have another by Manika Ji. Um, this wick holder can be used for any diameter of candle. Uh, as per my knowledge, this is specifically made for three inch jar. This is a three by three jar, which we also have. And I would say, let me just show it to you. Um, I hope that this is set enough. Yep. See, this is actually made for right now. This is actually made for three inch jar. So I would say you can use. Technically, you can use it for a jar which is not uh, up to this uh, diameter. But is, uh, this is not uh, something which you can use for each size of the jar. These are actually custom made for the sizes. So as you can see how this actually looks pretty fine. I hope the experiments 
experiment is uh, i would say both experiments actually work these are just the rough ideas that i had last night because i wanted to play with soy wax and gel wax so thought of just doing some random exper experiment so i hope that you are also going to love the candle that we are going to make today so another thing i just noticed that now we uh, we have 2000 group members just in few months like it just been two or three months since we i have started this group and from 0 to 2000 and i'm just so thankful to all of you guys who have joined the group and who have decided to stay as well and specifically to all the members who are really active in sharing the information and because that is what i love about this group that uh, initially i was i thought when i started this group that it i it will be just me who will be you know answering all this question but i'm really really happy that all of you you know love sharing those the information that you have you love helping out each other you love you know solving queries that a lot of time when i you know open the group i open the uh, the see if there is any query asked by any of the group members most of the time the query is already answered so that is really great that is really great and i'm really happy that we have a group which is really helpful and really interactive as well i'm really happy so congratulations guys we are a family of 2000 people 2000 candle makers future or present but still 2000 people is really good so uh, pankaj ji asked what is the difference between fragrance oil and essential oil for candle which one, which one is better see uh, sir uh, fragrance when we essential oil technically is extracted from the plants fruits seeds you know when we talk about plants various plants the, uh, a lot of essential these essential oils are extracted uh, from various part of plant, the plants and the, there are a lot of various extraction methods as well but basically these are extracted from uh, a plant fruit tree or a flower right and when we talk about fragrance oil so fragrance oil is actually uh, see uh, when okay an essential oil is actually made up of a lot of different naturally occurring chemicals please uh, understand this term naturally occurring chemical essential oil is basically a naturally occurring chemical uh, formulation right so in that formulation there are a lot of uh, you know naturally occurring chemicals which can be extracted from that and there are few of a uh, few of those uh, i would say uh, chemicals are have, have you know natural properties like healing or whatever property that they have but there are some a part of that those formulation is also responsible for fragrance right so what happens is those fragrance uh, notes are extracted from the those uh, uh, you can say essential oil or from the, directly from those flowers or from or the whatever part yeah, that you're using and then and using those notes we create fragrance oil they and we also have you know uh, so basically uh, basic example i would say in uh, layman term technically essential oil is naturally occurring and fragrance oil is made in lab i'm i will be coming to the point that essential oil are a lot of essential oil are also made in lab but that is a different topic that we are going to discuss in future but in short term fragrance oil are is actually made up of all these different chemical notes to create a one single note that we can use uh, in your candles or in our soaps or in whatever uh, product that we want to use i hope that answers your questions so so lazarus asked which companies make soy wax so uh, in so since we uh, i would say i i am assuming that you are not from india because uh, so i i'm really sorry that i won't be able to answer that question because i may do, do not have much information of, about the companies that are making uh, soy wax on all these waxes in your country i'm really sorry for that but in india i am one of the supplier of soy wax 
and we are so very uh, we are working on another version of soy wax which is which does not have any problem that we face in soy chunks and that is natural soy wax as well so this let just i know that we i have been talking about this wax from last 6 month but uh, it just it's something this these kind of things takes time sometimes it takes a month sometimes it takes year but yeah this is what we are working on and we are really really close to launching it as well uh sir please uh, pishali asks uh, can you later mention the percentage fragrance to be added and at what temperature so okay so we uh, let me answer if if i have not uh, if you have not uh, you know you, if you were not present in the part where we discuss this let me answer that again so uh, for soy wax add in winter add the fragrance at around 170 fahrenheit and in winters you can drop the temperature to 165 fahrenheit during summer sorry and uh, generic uh, i would say generally i use 10% by weight like for 100 g of wax i use 10 g of oil but you can use 10 to 12% like 12% if you want a stronger candle you can use 12 g of oil as well for 100 g of wax okay let us see if there are any other questions that we have not answered yet so uh, one of the question asked by lazarus was can you make beeswax candle without adding coconut oil um technically yes but the reason we add coconut oil in beeswax is because beeswax melting point is very very high and it is very tough to uh, you know to select a proper wick because uh, you know, a lot of i mean with the uh, it, it is not going to melt properly due to its high melting point so that is why we add coconut oil to you know make it make the wax softer and so that we are able to you know have a proper melt pool with the wicks that we have so that is why in all of the places even us uh, general ratio is 70 to 30% so there is another question asked by kosi bhupati how to choose correct wick for your jar again Uh, as i answered previously this is something that you need to test like we have uh, a lot of wicks in different sizes like seven different thicknesses but even though we can we can provide a generic idea there are a lot of factors which actually impacts your wick size your temperature of the jar so your temperature uh, the room temperature the size of the jar the wax that you're using the fragrance oil that you're using all the factors actually change uh, impact your wick size so always make sure that you test the wicks first so i hope i have answered almost all the question and ankita goel said thank you both yatin and shruti for such a wonderful session oh you're welcome we hope uh, the experiment looks to be good enough i know the candle looks pretty let's see okay <laughs> so i also i would i'm also very very glad that she uh, she offered me uh, to conduct a session and in, in her home and uh, i'm really happy because otherwise i wouldn't be able to conduct this session today <laughs> <laughs> we will all have, uh, because i am still at my hometown and uh, right now we uh, the operations are on pause so yeah so let us see if the wax is hard enough or not so again as you can see there are no bubbles please so yeah see wax is gel wax is hard enough same with hair as well the wax is all, all, all hard enough so what we are going to do i am going to melt this again hmm. and also uh, we are going to use some soy wax this time going to use so you now uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to add some soy wax chunks into the gel wax and we are going to change its texture so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add about out of 50 yeah this this should be enough so usually you just need to add around 10 to 15% of either soy or either paraffin to change the texture you can maximum you can go is 20% i don't think you need to go anything uh, add any more than that so i'm just maybe add some smoke here 
right i'm just going to change i'm oh sorry i'm going to write this again So again, by the time it is melting, let us take some more question. So by the time it is melting, let us take some more question. So guys, if you have any question, or okay, let us ask. Let us take some. Let, okay. Uh, let me use this time to conduct a small interview. So, Shruti ji. Anji. So first thing that I would like to ask: mm -hmm. How do you decide on when you when did you, when and how and why? Did you decide that you want to make candles? Uh, I was into soap making earlier, and uh, I realized that okay, soap making is interesting, but uh, it was not something that I was very excited about or passionate about or something. So then I saw a few candles, and initially I was not getting any good supply on Facebook or anywhere else. I tried India Mart, and there were people who were supplying in you know large scales and everything, and. Uh, there was no platform to learn so i was very confused if i should carry on with the candle making thing or not i did experiment a few times and uh, i was not successful in the first go first of all i was uh, there were problems with the wicks and fragrance and there was cold through and hot through there were so many new terms i was listening for the first time so i gave up on one point of time i was like i can't do it anymore but the beautiful candles that i saw on pinterest i think got me going i wanted to create something that is what i like i like creating things so yeah then i finally saw your group on facebook i remember and i messaged at 10:30 and i said i need supplies for candle and i was happy that there was a group indian group for candle making because you know facebook pe there are many groups jo hamare country ke nahi hai so wahan pe aadhi cheeze to hame pata hi nahi hoti kaun si grade ki candle and everything but finally again with your uh, support and guidance wo ek push tha mere liye bahut bada and uh, that is how i got into it i think yeah that that is <laughs> that is really great and i'm thank i'm really happy that at least i am able to provide some you know help as much as i can because that was the motive behind creating this group see because when i started the all see uh, the information which i you know provide hmm. you, all of you in uh, maybe half an hour 15 minutes the thing is it took me around 1 year to gather all that information because there was no such platform available there see there are a few indian groups as well there yeah. are us groups as well but again there are a lot of things which were missing there are a lot of gaps a lot of dots which i was not able to connect so this is how the thing which the the thing that you uh, you know uh, thing me do, doing today is how i connected all those dots mm -hmm. i actually did the, all the experiments all the knowledge that i was uh, that i have is just doing some random experiments like this only i did a lot of such random experiments and i started figuring out the characteristic of the behavior or the behavior of the all these waxes mm -hmm. started figuring out how to resolve those issue and that is how i am here today and even there is one thing which is very nice about the entire group i would say uh कोई वन क्वेश्चन भी अगर कोई पोस्ट करता है देर आर पीपल हुआ हेल्पिंग दो भी बिलोंग टू द सेम इंडस्ट्री कंपटीशन है आजकल सब कुछ ऑनलाइन अवेलेबल है सो देर इज लॉट ऑफ कंपटीशन बट टच वुड यहाँ पे आई हैव नॉट सीन अ सिंगल पर्सन जो अपना सीक्रेट नहीं बोल सकते यूट्यूब पे गूगल पे सब कुछ है बट देन स्टिल अगेन वेन यू डू इट हमें करते करते बहुत चीजें सीखने को मिलती है बट यहाँ पे एवरी इज वेरी हेल्पफुल हर कोई आके अपने सजेशन देता है अपने क्वेश्चन पूछता तो देर आर पीपल आंसरिंग देर आर फ्यू थिंग्स दैट वी स्टिल लैक इन कैंडल मेकिंग इंडस्ट्री अभी भी है चीजें बट आई एम श्योर वो धीरे धीरे कवर अप हो जाएगा वेरी सोन यू आर ब्रिंगिंग अप टू मेनी न्यू थिंग्स आई सपोज नो तो हाँ वेरी एक्साइटेड फॉर दैट ऑल्सो सो यू नो देर इज अनदर आइडियोलॉजी बिहाइंड वाई आई एम ओपनिंग इन रिगार्ड टू शेयरिंग ऑल दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन Uh, the reason for that is see uh, as you can see if you might have observed that during school right uh, the stuff that we were uh, you know learning in uh, during our school time that's uh, now the when uh, we see uh, i don't have children but when we see our children you know going to those same classes the the syllabus is a bit more advanced than what we were learning at uh, during that time the reason why that happens is because all 
our the sec our new generation is learning from the point where we stop learning yeah. right so that is what i believe that uh, the information now uh, when we are sharing the information uh, to all those new candle makers they don't have to spend at least one year to just learn the oh. basic of candle making mm. or maybe six may, one year is still uh, i would say too high but at least they not they don't have to spend Three four months to uh, learn all those uh, candle making basics, and the next three four months, because now they all the information they have gathered in just one week instead of three to four months, they can spend those three to four months in learning new things and then pass off pass on that information to further. So this actually increases the level of creativity that we have in India, because that is how US have grown a lot because they shared. that is why the creativity yeah. keeps on you know increasing exponentially that is what the idea behind this group that share the information with each other and improve knowledge from you know your knowledge as well and i your the increase the other person's knowledge as well and also this is how i how i have been working i when it's about competition i am really ruthless but when it's about helping i am very helpful so i would say that is how a business should be have help with with all your heart compete with all your heart as well exactly right because market bahut choti hai you know limited log hain wahi aapko sab groups pe dekhenge there are limited hmm. people but again make uh, i would say candle maker are less but hmm. the market is very very yeah, huge yeah candle makers are less that is the industry is small i would right, say right right suddenly candles ki demand bahut hai and people are doing really very well hmm. you get to learn so much <laughs> and uh, जब हम एक दूसरे के वन थिंग आई वुड अप्रिशिएट इज हम एक दूसरे से इंस्पायर होके बनाते हैं कैंडल्स वी शुड ऑल गिव द क्रेडिट फॉर द मेंशन यू नो आई हैव सीन लॉट ऑफ डिजाइंस यहां से उठाया वहां से उठाया बट यस वो मेंशन देना जरूरी है बिकॉज शायद किसी का अपना माइंड लगा होगा वहां पे सो या सो या दिस इज वन ऑफ द अनदर थिंग दैट आई वांट टू टॉक अबाउट यू नो um there was uh, i don't remember the person but there was a person who i mean i talked about some time ago and uh, she asked me that you know she want to create something unique and but she is afraid that it will get uh, copied hmm. i just said one thing to her that no matter how complicated your design is no matter how unique your design is if you are just going to stop just because you are afraid that it is going to be copied the thing is no or uh, 90% of the candles that you're going that you see in the market mm. they are all the designs are copied exactly uh, no matter like if i introduce a new design like if i introduce a new label that i label design in just 10 days it's going to be copied so don't worry about that don't think about that because just make sure that you uh, if you think that something you like in some other product if you want to take the inspiration from that mm. take that inspiration don't think just focus on the quality of your product right okay so there is one comment that ragni ji posted she is saying that even i feel like giving up because i don't have many buyers so ma'am i would say don't give up Never the thing up. is no, uh, when you start a business it does not guarantee that you are going to be successful overnight either they, see there are few lucky people i am not one of them there are a lot of lucky people who when starts they the business starts to boom like overnight but there are people who sometimes we have to wait so yeah luck also plays uh, one part but business is a game of survival uh, like if you have 2000 people in this group i i am sure about it only about after a year if right now if 2000 people have started making candles after about a year only 20 people out of those 2000 people will remain in this business because this is a game of survival you need to figure out where you are lacking it may be in your marketing it may be that your products are not properly priced it may be the market that you are reaching out to it does not even need your product mm-hmm. this was a problem that i faced that the market which i was tackling they didn't even need my product i literally had a meeting with a uh, a hotel chain uh, i mean ajanta uh, there is a hotel chain in delhi by the name ajanta i literally sat with the owner he was one of my mentor actually he actually taught me about online marketing and how to reach out to businesses and i used his skills whatever he taught me in his courses and i reached out to him i pitched him using his own techniques he got impressed he invited me to for a meeting and then he asked me one thing i mean the meeting didn't go as planned and after that meeting he said one thing why should i buy you candles like 
as a buyer what am i getting from your product mm-hmm. now think of it what exactly do, uh, someone gets from buying a candle i mean it does not bring any health value no matter if you t- talk about i told him that i said that we are, this, these are made from beeswax these are made from essential oils these are good for health and he said everyone said that why should i buy it from you what is what is the benefit that i am getting think about that trust me i got very demotivated at that time but that question actually helped me out because that is what you need to think whenever you are reaching to a customer what does your customer gains from it mm-hmm. so decide your market based on that question like uh, so if you talk about weddings like so what does they get from your product uh, from your product mm-hmm. they actually they they actually get get a nice product to have very good decoration they can decorate they can uh, you know make their maybe you know there is a wedding so any or ceremony in the for wedding koi bhi riti riwaj wahan pe chal raha hai to wahan pe they can burn the candle and make the room much more fragrant so these kind of thing that these these do you have to think about that level right so it may be the market that you reaching is does not even require your product maybe the way that you reaching to the market is not also appropriate so these are there are a lot of factors that you need to think and then decide where you are lacking because once you start fixing those problems there is no way that your your business will not work because candle making is a proven business this if it is working for one person it should be working for you as well so see how why it is working for that person why why it is not working for you so before giving up make sure you check all these points this is even ready okay so let us let's get back 98. to right so as you can see one more thing i and i hope it works very well so i know the thing is it it works very well with paraffin and this is the first time i'm using this method with soy wax with paraffin what happens is even though it is uh, transparent right now but when it going to cool down it going to cool down in opaque manner mm-hmm. it will be opaque when once it cool down so i i hope like it, it, this works good with soy wax as well as good as it uh, as it works with paraffin so now what i'm going to do is so let us mix some color as well um let me add some coconut oil can we add mix some color <coughs> of a different shade white milk yeah coconut oil it's too melt no hard milk just scoop some out and uh, sure. yeah so we can use the heat gun this is scoop ho jayega yeah just make sure that uh, the bottle doesn't bend so pankaj ji asked how long does the fragrance oil bottle will retain the quality once open it will retain i mean um, if it will remain the quality retain the quality till its expiry time like for about a year or two and generally generally a fragrance oil expiry expiration period is for about 2 years and it will work i mean there is there is no such thing that once it open you need to finish it uh kai santos asked Uh, i have seen one video where in the fo is directly poured in the candle jar with melted wax in it how does it affect the scent so i am really happy that you have asked this question because last night only i also saw a similar video and i was thinking about going on live and talk about why you should not do all those stuff because that video even though that was, that was technically a tutorial for how to make a candle but everything that she did was how was i would say if i want to try, make a title for that video i would say how not to make a candle because the thing is out of all the things she also did one this thing that she added the uh, fragrance into the candle like like if she has poured the candle here and she added few drops of fragrance and she didn't even mix it properly i mean what's the, what is the point of adding the fragrance she added the wick also later on या सेम वीडियो क्लास में उसने बाद में बिग सिर्फ उसमें खड़ी कर दी कि वो वैक्स ही पेस्ट हो जाएगी आई नो सो दैट वीडियो ना आई देयर वाज सम देयर देयर इज अनदर इन्फ्यूरिएटेड देयर इज अनदर थिंग दैट शी डिड व्हिच इन द वीडियो व्हिच आई सॉ व्हिच इन्फ्यूरिएटेड मी 
the thing is she actually cut out small she made some candle with gel wax and she cut out some uh, you know a small piece of plastic bottle to hold the wick straight and she just inserted into the wax i was like why so uh, sorry i got <laughs> i got hyper because of what i ended up remembering that video but don't do it uh, don't do it don't do, uh, just make sure that you're mixing the fragrance properly in a different jar and then pouring into the candle uh, into the into your candle jar okay let us see if we have another some more questions to answer all right so right we don't have much question right now so we are just you know adding some you know melting the coconut oil because it's winter and it's already hardened so before doing that let i would like to you know what color do i have just something which is in contrast with pink blue hmm? blue blue or purple uh with pink something which were uh, yeah purple with i mean i don't have much experience in you know setting a proper contrast so this is something i will leave it on you so i just hope this works i hope this solidifies in a manner that i am expecting because <laughs> this is what i'm counting on right now if it doesn't work does not work you know what not to do if it works you know what to do right this is how experiments actually goes on you learn something new out of it even though your experiments fail but you still end up learning something new yeah uh please add it into it So guys, this is another experiment that we are doing. Since it's a solution majorly of made up of gel wax, and we are using coconut oil to mix the color. So we'll this way we'll be able to test whether coconut oil works well for adding color in gel wax or not. Because the thing is, liquid color works much better in gel wax uh, instead of powder. Powder actually leaves a lot of you know leftover sediments or those small particles, which does not look good. so liquid colors works better but if you in case you do not have liquid colors uh, this will like this experiment will tell us whether coconut oil works well in this case or not you let us let us just uh, pour it and see if it creates any bubbles or not okay yeah over so, this one yeah let us pour it on that so we are pouring at 170 fahrenheit and we will see if it if it has any sort of bubbles or not a proof of concept you can say uh so that far. much will be enough and so far, it you can do the same here as well just pour slowly pour slowly and i would say that will be enough that will be enough yep and let us use this to just Is let the bubbles the go Uh, so as you can see there are three layers and i hope that this uh, becomes opaque as it sets one layer of soy wax another layer of gel wax and one layer of gel and soy and here we have soy wax melts made up of soy submerged in a pool of uh, gel wax and on the top we have a, uh, i would say uh, again a blend of soy and gel wax so these are the two experiments that i wanted to do there is an there was another experiment that i wanted to try was like instead of uh chunks made up of soy i wanted to reverse it like have uh, soy uh, so uh, you know chunks made up of gel wax like small cubes and fill it up with soy wax but i thought it will be too much for the session and i just wanted to keep it concise and uh, have just do Gen to be able to do uh, just do two experiments here the leftover can we make these yeah why not mm -hmm. 
so by the time it sets let us take some more question and we are making some we are pouring some bullet or wax into the mold here so if these works like once the sets you can use these instead of the uh, uh, the hearts made of, of soy and you can make a gel wax with that as well this will also look very very beautiful so let us see if there are any other questions so there is one question uh, how do you measure the amount of coconut oil you add to your wax so uh, see uh, two points one if you are using a coconut oil to just mix the color just uh, use enough oil to mix the color well secondly if uh, you are talking about uh, beeswax then 70 30 ratio is the ideal ratio if you want to make the beeswax more softer you can increase the coconut oil as well it's totally up to you So guys, how is the session so far? Please type in the comment box. How is the session so far? Is there something that you would like me to elaborate a little bit more, or something where you feel that I, uh, you, somewhere if you want to correct me, or if or to any point which I've shared in the video so far, in the session so far, if there is something that you feel that. Uh, you would like to correct please go ahead this is a learning platform for me as well okay there are a lot of people calling me on the phone i'm really sorry okay thank you i'm really happy that you're finding the session uh, useful um so i would say the candle the wax is uh, wax has started setting oh ah it, uh, it was my bad me nahi 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 garam nahi laga this is me being impatient see one more thing candle making is all about patience and sometimes i lose my patience so yeah <laughs> ब्लैंड एंड जेल वैक्स मे बी फॉर सोई यू नीड टू एड समोर बट दिस कैन ऑल्सो वर्क दिस विल ऑल्सो वर्क but at least at still we still have some pretty candles here mm -hmm. i'm really loving this candle yeah. this is also nice for some reason the uh, bubbles have started appearing now <laughs> but this is again a point of learning that but this one had bubbles earlier also right. this one was clear exactly this is still clear right 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 in the top layer that one had bubbles hmm but still we can improve it further and we can create an amazing candle so just imagine like instead of uh, uh these uh, uh, would say but you can put actual flowers here right or you can you put all those shells and everything that you that that are you know usually used in gel wax mm -hmm. so how pretty is going to look like two opaque layers and one transparent layer having all those ornaments or whatever that you want to decorate the candle with and here This is out that this actually turned turned out much better than I was expecting. Mm, this is much okay. classy and something I would say don't you think this is a perfect design for valentine? Mm. Like if you are into gel gel wax this is really pretty design for your valentine candles like a candle full of hearts and just amazing you can just add some uh, nice romantic fragrance into it like rose or maybe some fruity fragrance like uh, strawberry and something. and it's going to work really really well for your valentines the fragrances that we use for soy wax are they compatible with the gel wax also uh yes they should be okay. 
so uh, prasija asked that uh, if gel cubes are submerged in soy wax pool will that be visible won't soy wax be opaque so as i said this is more of an experimental session yes those uh, the visibility will be much lighter but uh, thing is those cubes will be filled to the top okay sorry those cubes will fill to jar will fill with those cube to the top and you just make sure those cubes are uh, you know touching the edge so when you are going to fill the wax so it will be uh, i would say uh, partially visible and uh, those those cubes will be slightly visible giving it a slightly unique look like uh, just imagine uh, you know a candle uh, made with pink color and there are few spots which are transparent so it is how it is going to look as i said this is uh, just an experiment that you can do or i'll do later on and post a pic of that how it actually looks if it looks well good if it does not you actually learn something that what actually does not work for you i saw a candle this morning with uh, that cake candle dekha kisi ko they, they have those sprinkles hmm. around you know yeah. so are those the normal cake sprinkles that they use sugar sprinkles jo some people use those only yes so phir, is that fine burn nahi hoga wo candle ke sath uh, the thing is you know a lot of people use glitter as well in hmm. the candle and hmm. personally i feel that uh, glitter should not be used uh, but at the same time when we are using sprinkles hmm. sprinkles thing is technically those are sugar yeah and sugar actually burn very well i mean th- that can actually catch fire so make sure uh, sugar can catch fire so make sure those are i mean you are not using too much of those sprinkles hmm. and those are actually uh, a part you know for, uh, at some distance from the wick or from oh, the flame they have the they, the design was very pretty and most of them have this thing mm-hmm. the pura andar what they do is there was question ki what do we use so some people said that use a corn syrup mm mm-hmm. corn syrup laga ke wo sprinkles ko just rotate it around and like straight off the extra thing you know mm-hmm. and then some people said use moch podge what is that that is a gum aati wo that is like fevicol mm mm-hmm. and it is basically a craft glue Okay. जो डीकूपेज पे भी यूज होता है ना फॉर द पेपर एंड एवरीथिंग सो समबडी सेड वो मॉश पॉश यूज करो देन दे सेड कॉर्न सिरप यूज करो बट द स्प्रिंकलर्स वर ऑल अराउंड द ग्लास ओके ओके गॉट इट गॉट इट गॉट इट है ना केक कैंडल्स वो सोए वैक्स के साथ पे दोस कलरफुल स्प्रिंकलर्स सो आई वाज वंडरिंग के आई डोंट नो शुगर है वो भी सो आई वुड से सी सिंस दोस आर स्टिक टू द कंप्लीटली स्टिक टू द एजेस राइट देयर इज स्टिल अ वेरी लेस चांस फॉर देम टू बर्न but a lot of people actually you know fill the jar completely mm. Mm. that in that case i would say, say uh, that the, it's a risk of getting uh, catching fire acha okay yeah but hey wo do, those are cake sprinklers only na right, right. those are most most of them using use cake sprinkler sprinklers only mm. and yes though uh, they are not 100% safe mm. but i would say they are uh, as safe as when we use you know dry flowers no right dry flowers those are also not 100% safe yeah, right, right. so ragini ji as r decoupage candle safe so ma'am uh, the thing is when we talk about decoupage candle you have to understand that uh, the outer layer of the uh, pillar candles is actually paper and uh, those candles are in my opinion outs are not for burning but rather for just you know decoration purpose because when we burn the paper is going to burn and again paper is going to provide smoke and because it's going to catch fire anyway i mean 100% it is going to catch fire uh, even, and i would say uh, the experience is not going to be good i won't say i will not say it going to be ca- it's going to catch fire and going to burn the house it's going to catch like uh, slight fire even, but the experience of burning the decoupage candle will not be as good as burning a regular pillar candle so these are just when you are selling decoupage candle make sure you under, tell your customer that these are just for decoration purpose and not for burning so kevin said that you can't use flowers in uk as flowers burn and can cause fire um, yes i am aware that in certain countries that they do not allow any material that can catch fire to be added into the candle and if uh, if there are people who are from other countries and make sure that they check if there are any laws or regulation in regard with candle when you are making candles and not to put anything which can uh, you know uh, which are not as per those regulations so 
Kai Sento said that I added polythin wax in my parasoy wax but polythin wax did not melt even after reaching 200 Fahrenheit. How have you tried this? So I, I, I have not tried polythin wax yet. And also not all the waxes are appropriate for candle making. Like there is one, uh, one wax called Kanaboa wax which is a natural wax. But uh, that is not a candle making, candle making wax because of the high melting point. So not all the waxes even though technically wax is should all the wax is uh, can be used for candle but not all the waxes are appropriate for candle making due to those high melting points and some of the wax are actually very toxic as well like when i say toxic much actually toxic something which is very very unsafe for candle making and i would say polythene wax is something uh, which should not be burned i wouldn't say polythene wax is going to be slightly toxic much toxic than the regular paraffin or the gel wax. So okay, so the Rishabh ji also answered the same uh, question that that wax is not appropriate for candle making. So Kevin asked if there is a risk of catching fire and someone house catches fire, your insurance company would pay out. Exactly. So yes, as I was saying that uh, in US and in U UK there are a lot of regulations that you need to be uh, that you need to abide by. And uh, since in India there is, we don't have, they, we don't, we are not required to buy an, uh, an insurance for our business. And be, but because the suing culture is not that prevalent in India, we, as much as it is in US and UK or in Canada or any other Western countries. So that is why I would say we, uh, and also the, uh, our homes are mostly made up of, uh, uh, you know, cements and uh, bricks instead of wood. So the uh, the chances of catching fire in India is also very very less. We have a lot of ventilation also over right. here. We are, we are our houses are not that closed. Mm -hmm. They are all closed houses, so they need insurance. Right. And I have never heard of a case also. Uh, Touch wood. <laughs> but I am very scared. Mm. But that is why the thing is with the candle uh, the candle buying culture is also not that uh, nice. that have not cashed up yeah. yet. But it will be good that we start taking care of all those things from the start itself, so that when the the uh, the candles actually goes viral, the, it becomes when the candles actually become mainstream. Mm. Uh, we are all, we are actually uh, we ha have enough information to make sure that all our customers are safe. Yeah, but do you all follow that two hour rule? Uh, like when we do a burn test, so mm -hmm. I am very particular. Kya char ghante hoga ya band karna hai ya aisa kuch. Do you all follow that? You should be because there is a reason for that. Hmm. Four hour is too much, I would say, because the thing is, I would say ideally you should not burn your candle for more than three and a half, maximum three and a half. Hmm. And the thing for the reason for that is even no matter how good quality your jar is, hmm. like uh, there is a chance like. Uh, uh, Mm, there's a chance that if jar gets overheated, it might burst, it might burst because the hot air which but are trapped inside. But clients, they would not, there are not many people who follow that hmm? 4 hours will Like in, see, even in US and UK, most of people does, do not follow them even though uh, those all those instructions are written on their website, written on their uh, stickers and everywhere but still they don't follow but at least it's our uh, duty to at least, uh, you know, tell them. Mm. Following them is their choice. If they are stupid enough to, I mean, if, if to not follow them, even if they have been told, mm. we cannot do anything. We can just make sure that they are, you know, having those uh, information. Mm. So that when they actually claim that the, your, your candle is the reason, we can actually tell them, mm. we told you how to burn it. Yeah. Right? Something like that. And also always make sure that you do a power burn test. Mm. Uh, like, as a candle maker, uh, as a customer, you should not burn, but at a, as a candle maker, whenever you're using a new jar, mm. right, from a new manufacturer, make sure you burn that candle for at least five hours and at a safe okay. area mm. so that you can test whether the uh, whether the jar cracks or not. Mm. Another way to uh, test that jar is use heat gun. Oh, okay. Use heat gun properly. I mean, you, you rough, um, I mean like you, you use heat gun on the jar and make sure that whether see mm. whether it cracks or not. Mm -hmm. Because most of the low quality jar will actually crack with just heat gun as well mm. itself. So yeah, you use these two things. And also one more thing, one more thing that I want to uh, advise all of the candle makers. Please, please, please buy uh, a fire executioner. 
because as a candle maker you will be having a candle burning in your house almost all the time you will be testing a lot of candles and as i said one of my candle actually caught fire and the thing is those fire cannot be put off with water i was lucky enough that i had i mean i knew that you you can should not be putting water to uh, fire which is ca you know oil fire or wax fire because once you add fire water into wax fire or oil fire the fire actually increases you actually uh, you know there is a chance that you might end up burning your hand or maybe even your house in that case so always keep a small fire extinguisher ready so if the in case that you feel that uh, you find your candle burning or your jar bursting or any such thing you can immediately use an extinguisher to put off that fire or at least have some sand ready to put off that fire right uh, shubha ramesh asks is essential oil good for candle making recently read that some essential oil turn toxic when essential oil are mixed for aromatherapy purpose uh, sir i have been using essential oil for about one and a half year and again this is one research that i have i mean i have seen uh, a lot these comment but i have not found any research paper that gave me a conclusive answer but technically essential oil are as harmful and as safe as your fragrance oil i mean both the things if you say are toxic i would say uh, these both the things are as harmful and as uh, useful i mean there is no such thing even if you use some 100% pure essential oil when you put it into a candle uh, when we say that it have an aromatherapy effect no i mean in a candle uh, it's just as good as a fragrance oil you can add it for a marketing purpose i add for marketing purpose i am uh, open about that but it is as good uh, it has as good effect as an essential fragrance oil uh, and that will be like uh, there is a term in english uh, placebo effect you can tell your customer that it's a scentable fragrance and it will make you calm and the placebo effect is going to make him calm even if you use essential oil even if you use fragrance oil so just i am open about it i use essential oil for marketing purpose but essential oils can catch fire is it yes because you know flash point flash point it is due to the flash point even if even the fragrance oil that you're using if the flash point of that fragrance oil is low that can also catch fire but then fragrance oil is uh, particularly made for a candle yes but it still can have ha it hmm. can definitely mm -hmm. wo to mishap so kahin pe bhi ho sakta hai but essential oil is not specific yeah, exactly to candle matlab specifically to nahi hota na essential oil exactly is. but same thing happen with soaps as well right when you add in soap like all not all fragrance oil works with soap hmm. a lot of time they actually you know have moisture uh, accelerate but cosmetic grade fragrance oil is for soap or right but you can use essential oil in them as well we do so, use essential hmm. oil but in a very small quantity right ki uske benefits अगेन एज अ मैन्युफैक्चर बताओगे आपको कि एसेंशियल ऑयल और फ्रेग्रेंस ऑयल में आप क्या डिफरेंस दे रहे हो एज अ कस्टमर वी हैव नो क्लू सो एसेंशियल ऑयल इन कॉस्मेटिक्स आई वुड यूज वेरी हाई एंड एसेंशियल ऑयल्स दैट हैव रियली सम इंपैक्ट ऑन द प्रोडक्ट और ऑन द स्किन और व्हाट एवर बट विथ विथ कैंडल्स आई एम वेरी अफ्रेड टू यूज एसेंशियल अंटिल एज अ क्लाइंट डजंट आस्क मी टू यूज एसेंशियल ऑयल मैम आई वुड से सी एसेंशियल ऑयल ओके देयर इज वन दिस इज अनदर टॉपिक दैट आई वांट टू टू कीप इट फॉर द फ्यूचर बट सिंस वी आर वेटिंग फॉर द कैंडल टू सेट एंड आई होप वी आर नॉट बोरिंग यू ऑल विद ऑल दिस कन्वर्सेशन बट थिंग इज मैम इन इंडिया इन यूएस इन यूके आई वुड से इन एनीवेयर anywhere where you go and buy essential oil no they are not 100% pure the i won't say so not pure but not i would say they are not 100% natural mm -hmm. purity naturality those are different terms yeah. the thing is uh, when we talk about you know even coca cola coca i mean this is one example that uh, a good friend of mine gave me and he is watching in this session as well mm -hmm. he shared that coca cola use bergamot oil right mm -hmm. even they do not use 100% pure, pure bergamot when we say uh, the, uh, that does not mean the oil that are available essential that are available in market they are of bad quality mm -hmm. the thing is uh, those like extracting it from natural naturally may cost you the same oil will cost you about 1 lakh mm -hmm. but creating the, those same properties right mm -hmm. may cost you just 4 to 5000 maybe 10000 mm -hmm. 20000 something like that mm -hmm. per liter right mm -hmm. so these are the things even though uh, those have all the properties but uh, extracting a natural you know buying a natural oil like from ro natural rose oil mm. 
I would say uh, I don't think there is any business that can survive. Like it, oh, it's yes. about one to one point five lakh a liter. Mm. So oh, there's exactly, exactly. Case, yeah. So those are the things. Mm. So uh, and yes, I would say not. It is true that not all oils, essential oils, are good. S- similar, like we cannot, we should not be using cinnamon mm. or spice oil in soaps. Mm. Same thing should be apply. Should apply. Same thing applies in candles as well. Mm. We should not use spice oils in candles okay. because those can be harmful. to your lungs and everything but floral oils or fruit oils those can be used I mean, there is no issue at all because those are just for fragrance purpose right so while you are using only essential oil without any fragrance oil so hamara load kam ho ja hona chahiye ki nahi same 8 to 10% 10 to 10 to 12% most of the essential oil uh, have very mild fragrance hmm. so you may need to at least uh, and and you may end up adding uh, 10, 12% there but uh, yeah a lot of ro- just like uh, geranium geranium mm. is very very strong oh, yeah. 8% is enough so yeah just like fragrance oil mm. based on the you know intensity of the fragrance okay. i think this is going to become okay yes okay. so i'm and glad that one. is working as we i expected i'll remove one as you can see it was uh, earlier it was transparent but it set opaque yeah it will be opaque अगर थोड़ा सा और कलर ऐड करते मे बी वो और डार्क हो जाता है बट दिस इज ओके गुड इनफ एंड इट इज आल्सो ऑलमोस्ट सेट एज यू कैन सी दैट इट हैज सेट फ्रॉम द आउटसाइड बट फ्रॉम द मिडिल इट इज स्टिल लेफ्ट एंड दिस इज व्हाट वी आर दिस हाउ इट विल सेट सो वी कैन मेक अ डार्कर शेड इन दिस एंड ऐड इट इन द जस्ट द जेल वैक्स आल्सो राइट दिस विल लुक प्रीटी Okay, Shubha Ramesh asked while using essential oil what is the percentage to be mixed with paraffin wax to get good hot throw same 10 to 12% should be good enough so rushab ji is asking is your new wax ready i'm really sorry sir the thing is uh, uh, we are almost i would say at a final stage like we are 95% there and we are hoping to launch that in next couple of month we are really trying we are really trying very very hard we want that new soy wax natural soy wax to long to be available in the market but we are trying to make you know resolve all the problem we want that wax to be uh, good enough that you just need to melt and pour when face no issues like you know uh, in the uh, i would say in the texture or in the surface addition some things like that the basic things like that so just uh, just uh, uh, wish us luck that we are able to launch it in couple of months and yeah so uh, guys i would say if, uh, we uh, right now we, we just need to wait for the candle to get hard and if there is any is there any the question that you would like to ask if not we can end the session here and uh, i will just post a uh, image of both of these candles and to just uh, okay there is another question what about coconut wax so coconut wax is going to be our second uh, project once we are once we are done with soy wax uh because uh, first we want to see how the market respond with us to us uh for our soy wax and after that we are going to move to coconut wax because coconut wax is something that is uh, that was a surprise that i wanted to keep but since you have asked that yes this is something that is we are going to work in future as well we are going to uh, launch a you know coconut wax in india as well right now there is no no one is selling that wax floral wax also no one is selling floral wax exactly yeah. so these are the pro- as soon as i mean we will start you know moving to like uh, we want to make all those waxes like we want to make those waxes available in india mm-hmm. and we because why we we know that we see us and uk people having all those waxes mm-hmm. but why wait why can't we have that waxes available in india mm-hmm. the only reason is uh since most of the waxes available in india are actually made for industrial purposes rather than for candle making yeah. but that does not we, we that mean that we cannot make it we are going to make it it is going to take some time but we are going to make it okay vishali asked sir can you please respond to my question when making a full soy wax candle can we take a, a small amount of coconut oil to mix powder color and then add to coconut oil Add the yeah, Vishali. That is what we did. We mix the color in small amount of coconut oil first, and then add it to soy wax. That is what we did in this session. And 
let's see if we have more questions here Okay, I'm I'm glad that I'm able to answer your question. Dushar ji asked another question: Do suppliers should make guide for candle makers? Yes, I mean it's our responsibility. Like if we are selling us uh, anything to all the uh, to all of you, if I'm selling anything to any any of you, I should provide all the required information regarding that product, like how to use that product, uh, how uh, what temperature, what all the things that you need to take care of. Because I as a I mean if a new candle maker. Should may he will not be having all those information, so it is my as a supplier, it's my responsibility to provide all those information. So uh, we uh, so we conduct these uh, session uh, if uh, every Sunday, almost every Sunday. Uh, initially, we were I mean I was having conducting this session on uh, uh, you know uh, the Zoom session, but it was the first time that we uh, I had conducted this session on Facebook Live. and uh, i am glad that i hope that uh, you actually liked the session um in future like uh, like from next time we will be having a proper professional setup i'll be having my proper tripod and i won't be moving that much <laughs> <laughs> but i'm i'm i hope that uh, you were able to this, this that this uh, was not distracting and you were able to learn some good valuable things and at least if I, if you are able to learn at least one thing which was new i'm really happy for that so madhuram ji asked can i melt coconut oil and so it works together so if you want if you uh, want to uh, make the wax softer by adding 5% or 10% coconut oil uh, if that is the reason why you are adding coconut oil then yes this is the same way this is the same thing which i you do with beeswax that i melt beeswax and coconut oil together it actually helps uh, to melt the wax faster like my instead of melting the beeswax uh, thing uh, you know individually i add coconut oil and beeswax together and uh, coconut oil heats up very fast and it helps the uh, beeswax to melt as well okay so i hope there are no other questions so guys uh, you can post your question in these comments right Uh, right now we will be uh, I, will, i would like to end this session for now and uh, we will be posting the uh, I, i will post a photo of this candle that we have created uh, for the candle that we created today and also all the question that you can you have you can post in the same comment box and i'll make sure that you get all the answers that you have so this is yatim richa signing out and shruti ji thank we... you thank you so much for coming over and it was a great session I'm thank you for providing your space and i'm glad that i i, I was this is a much better the session was at least from my perspective the session was much better than expected because as i said this was just experimental mm-hmm. uh, we didn't have enough time to do any pre pre testing and anything we just i just came here and we just did some random experiment and i hope you can take these uh, information further and you can do your experiment experiments on your own and post those wonderful candles on the group so this is yatim vilicha uh signing out bye